living in perilous times, those perilous last days. As we're filming this now, just recently, there was an attack in Kenya. Now, I, I have something of a heart for Kenya. Alice and I have spent time in Kenya, I've ministered in many, many places in Kenya. And as a matter of fact, we were in Nairobi the day before, uh, a couple of years ago, the day before the attack on that, that, that mall, where 60-some-odd Christians were slaughtered in that mall. Well, just the other day, at a university in north northeast of uh, Nairobi, Al Shabaab, that militant Islamic group from Somalia, went in and slaughtered. Now the number is about 150 people. And what they did was they they separated the Christians from the Muslim students. And if a, if, a, if somebody responded to the question, "Are you a Christian?" and they said yes, pow, they shot him right in the back of the head. Or they tortured him as they did in Kate Westgate. Okay, so I mean it's not not a pretty sight. But Jesus said, don't fear those who can kill the body. Okay? Mm -hmm. The problem is, you know, if you have that confrontation and somebody says to you, and you know that the cost is death of the flesh, That's right. what are you going to do? Well, you had better be prepared to do what Jesus said. Don't deny him. Don't deny him. Don't deny him. We can sit here in the West. We can sit here in, in the United States of America. And that's kind of, okay, that may pop up a couple of times on the news in your life. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't seem to be the reality of our religion. No. But through much of, if not most of the world, that is the reality. That's right. That there is persecution for, being, for following Jesus Christ with a scriptural faith. Now, having said that, I want you to know that the persecution is great here in the United States, but it is more subtle, yes. less overt, and it's typically at the moment, it's not at the price of a gun put at the back of your head, but they'll destroy, they'll destroy your name, they'll destroy your, your work life, they will attack the enemy. Remember, our warfare is not against flesh and blood, but against that evil one, that powers and principalities. He will do everything in his power to destroy your life. That's his purpose. Okay. So if you stand up for what you know are, are the, is the biblical truth of following Jesus Christ, don't think you can do that without cause. And, and having said that, I want to remind you that the people that called for the death of Jesus Christ were the people of God, the religious leaders inciting them. Right? So that your commitment to Jesus has to be equal to his commitment to you. He gave his life for you. He died for you. Your commitment has to be equal. This is, this is not a soft religion. Okay? But thank God that he has poured his Holy Spirit, his love into our hearts, written his word on the tablets of our heart, and given us the power of the Holy Spirit who indwells us then you have the power, the ability, the strength to stand against the enemy. We couldn't do it on our own. We no, you can't do it on your own. own. You can't, okay? That's why we don't lean on our own understanding. But Christianity is about life through death. Remember, Jesus, in, in the Gospel of Mark, it says, Jesus summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself. And take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake in the Gospels will save it. Hallelujah. Okay. That's why Paul can say, rejoicing, he can say, For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. In Colossians 3. What does God want from you? I'm going to tell you in a, in a word. Humility says, have the same mind in you that was in Christ Jesus. Humility. All right? Humility is the death of self. Yes. Or the opposite of pride. It is exactly the opposite of pride. Pride is exalting yourself, raising yourself up. Humility is lying yourself down, dying to yourself. All right? And that's what God desires in our life. And he said, but if we do that, if we humble ourselves, he will then exalt us. In peace like a river It 
attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll. Whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say. my